So shiny. It's just like, just like there's like one little tuft that's just standing straight up. Have you ever finished work or whatever you're doing, you get food and you're going home and you're like, oh man, I wanna eat this, but at the same time you're like, All right, I kinda wanna watch something with this. So you go ahead, you sit down with your food, you put on Netflix, you're looking and you're looking and 20 minutes later, it's like, all right, here's the office again for the 20th time. Well, that's what I wanna help you with. Instead of doing that, I want you to be able to trust me and tell me what you need to get. I'm here to tell you based on the time of the year, what food you should get based on the film to watch. This is Dinner and a Movie. All right, so fun fact, my fellow cinephiles. Back in 1937, when Walt Disney first premiered Snow White and the Seven Dwarves, when that happened, people saw that he actually put in money, his own money, he actually mortgaged his house to finance that film. And when they found out, they called it Disney's Folly. They thought he must be a fool to put all his money on a cartoon. But Walt believes in his dream, and it became one of the most successful films of all time. It changed the game. Pretty good for someone they called a fool. Fast forward 51 years later, and you have in 1988, and a little film called Who Framed Roger Rabbit changed the conventions just like Walt did with Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Now, Who Framed Roger Rabbit is a film noir film that mixes in cartoons in real life. Imagine if you live in a world where instead of cartoon characters being just cartoons that were hand drawn, they actually were real life things, just like you and I. <laughs> We are coming into the life of Eddie Valiant, a private eye who just by chance happens to be hired for a case where he is supposed to go and follow Jessica Rabbit to see if she is having an affair with Acme, a very famous inventor who owns, by chance, a lot of rights to Toontown, the city that LA wants to build over for future plans. Now Eddie Valiant probably is a strange person to pick because he hates tunes passionately because a tune killed his brother. A tune? No! That's right. Put in a little bit of missteps, some red herrings, and you get a film that's not only about a film noir and a murder mystery, but it also is probably one of the most entertaining cartoon slash live action films of all time. It is very well done, similar to how Shaun of the Dead reinvented comedy horror. <laughs> This film is wonderfully, wonderfully written and still holds up even now in the 2000s. Robert Zemeckis was a director with Steven Spielberg as one of the producers. And this film, even now, feels so timeless. It is an amazing film. Wicked witch cry. And one of my favorite parts of this film actually has to do with when Eddie takes Roger over to Dolores' bar and he's trying to hide him in this little bit of cat and mouse that's going on as they're running away from the fuzz. And there's this part where it's Shave and a haircut, two bits. Something that you don't really hear about anymore these days, but man, it creates a lot of excitement. It's probably one of the funniest scenes here, and it really reminds me of why that nostalgia, that love for cartoons still exists when I watch this film. Since we're adults now, we're pretty much big kids. That means we can do whatever we want, and that includes eating breakfast, cartoon breakfast that is, whenever we want, and that's what we're gonna do for tonight's dinner and a movie. We got this spread where it's gonna be all about those snacks that you grew up on Saturday morning cartoons. I'm talking about pizza bites, I'm talking about peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, you got pop tarts, tater tots, Fruit Loop cereal, as well as like Kit Kats and other candy. But most importantly of all, it wouldn't truly be an adult slash kid treat if they didn't have just a little bit of adult libations. I'm talking about some Irish cream liqueur. Now Irish cream is great because it's this hard liquor that's both sweet and yet later on it actually plays the effect of what alcohol should do. So what we do here at Dinner in a Movie is we combine it to make an Irish cream milkshake. You can go ahead and get a nice scoop of uh, vanilla ice cream, some milk, put that all together and top it off with some Irish cream and then blend it real well. 
and you got yourself a fantastic Irish cream milkshake. You have this wonderful film noir film slash cartoon that's gonna make you feel all nostalgic at the same time wanting to know who did it, who framed Roger. And of course, you have these great treats like these tots and your Irish cream milkshake. So that's your dinner and a movie for tonight. Make sure you check in in a couple of weeks because we're gonna be doing another review. I can't really tell you what it is, but let me tell you, it's gonna be pretty uh, aquatic. And make sure you subscribe. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful one.